Yale Brothers, Episode 67. Yo, 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 what's going on? Oh, what is going on? I'm back in your little hideaway. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, it's so nice in here. Yeah, my name's Chris. I'm Roger. Oh, we're the Yale Brothers. And what, we're supposed to say that together in unison like a commercial. I don't know about that. We're the Yale Brothers. I can't do that. Well, allow me to be the little commercial I I can't do that. (laughs) uh, I can't sell out, man. What the hell were we listening to up top? That's called, it's a little instrumental I was messing around with years ago with GarageBand. I called it Crime Drama 1975. <laughs> you know, a couple of harmony, harmony guitars and I don't know. It reminded me of an old crime drama. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, but I mean, you uh, you uh, dispensed with GarageBand and got Logic Pro. Yeah, a long eventually. time ago. Yeah. Oh. Which I'm probably just, be, it would have been all right with, with GarageBand. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Even GarageBand is in my little iPad Mini, which is dying. Well, it's it's useless on that. No, I know. That's why. No. I, that's why I've mastered Cubase. I just like a couple features in Logic. No, that's being cool. Being able to punch in and and out automatically. Sure. Not that, that I use it a lot. No, uh, so far I've been failing on the tutorials. On what? A Cubase LEAI Elements the twelve or something. What do you mean failing? Well, because I still don't get it, but I mean, it's better to learn something is keep failing, and so you eventually get it. Fail forward. Why don't you do, here's oh, that, what we should all just John, focus. Huh? Ma- that's John Maxwell. Is it? Are you sure? Yes. Failing forward. Oh. What? We should all do what? Just do, focus on the things we're good at. No, but you, it doesn't prohibit you from trying to learn new things. No. Just get better at what you're good at. Well, that's cool. Uh, I want to talk more about recording gear in a, in a little while, but I want to bring up this. Didn't you have a comedy album by Firesign Theater or something like that where the guy goes, Florian Zebach? Yeah, yeah. I didn't have it. That's Dad's. Was it Firesign Theater? I think so. I think so, too. But I, I thought it was some weird curse or something that they made up. I, ha- I, I knew it was a name. It's a real name of a real guy. That's not even a stage name. Florian Zebach. Oh, uh, Lord. Uh, it's actually a person. Check this out. You, did, you didn't know that, did you? No. Um, I didn't really care. Florian Zebach. August 15th, 1918, February 25th, 2006. Was American musician and TV personality. Get this. His recording of The Hot Canary sold a million copies and reached the top 15 on the pop charts in 1951 <laughs> and his uh believe it or not timed his violin performance of the flight of the bumblebee and wrote quote he plays 12.8 notes per second faster than any known violinist in history <laughs> florian zebach he also hosted a television show in 1954 that was aired in cities around the world and in 1960 he got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I never saw that sto- star. I had a Florian Zebach. 
Oh man! All right, all right. Well, don't you think it's a funny, funny sounding name, man? Yeah, it's 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 an annoying sounding name. Uh, I saw that I had a little email from a blog I follow called Travel Lanch, and then I saw that I'm a like, Florian Zabok. That sounds familiar. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I thought, well, that was fun. Florian Zabok. I thought it was fun too. What's fun is so also, much fun. So much, so much that I can't even. I can't even. We have a. Uh, we're still going through the season here in Myrtle. It's yeah. Still crazy as hell. Can't wait for it to be over, man. In a couple more weeks. Um. It's a sea of humanity and traffic in Myrtle Beach. And oh yeah, I, I don't see I don't see it getting much better because it's uh, more and more it's becoming year round, and they're overdeveloping as we've said. It's time to move. It's a where are you gonna go? I don't know. Nowhere. Oh my god! This town rips the bones from your back. It's a death trap. It's a suicide trap. From what I'm told, you better get out while you're old. <laughs> Oh, you better get out while we're young. Oh, too late. Might as well stick yeah, around. That's a, we'll get with, my, with my my boneless back. From what I told you, should have got out. Now you're old. Baby back. <laughs> I like it. This is one of the most um, booming places in the U.S. right now, according to U.S. News and World Report. I don't have that information Whoa. in front of me, but I saw it before. Wow. Are you the Chamber of Commerce or something, man? No, but that's kind of cool. I'm in your yeah. chamber right here. Uh, still looking at your collection of guitars that you bring out to show me and then put it away for the rest of the week or whenever it is. Um, Bull, man. But (laughs) I went wireless. Oh, yeah. You you went wireless. How'd that go? Perfect. uh, We tested that out at Lulu's. I came over, Chris got these little things charging with a little plug that, with a little, uh, what do you call that, quarter-inch jack that's folded into this little electronic unit, and then it and unfolds. One wireless uh, transmitter and receiver, uh, unlike the old ways that you had to put the big battery pack on. I was afraid of sound quality, but it's great, man. No. And it's I don't have to trip all over my, my uh, guitar cord now. Plus, I can walk out front and see what what it sounds like and all. Yeah, but it's like some swimmer like trying to jump jump off a diving board. You didn't really go far yet. No, I'm, I, I still think I'm shackled. I don't want. Why do I have to go far? You're gonna, like walk around from table to table and smile and nod at people. Man, that's not going to happen. Oh, could just give me the guitar. I'll do it. Uh, but anyway, it was thirty-seven bucks on Amazon. Yeah, you said that was a bargain. Well, it, there was an identical. It might be a knockoff of the, this one, but I, it's another unit has been advertised heavily on Facebook lately. Yeah. For the quote unquote sale price of eighty bucks. Yeah. So yeah. I I just cruised over to Amazon and I saw exactly the same design, different name. Oh yeah. Exact same specs, half price. Yeah. Figured I'd gamble a stamp <laughs> and see and what that unit back. can do for you. Yeah. I'd gamble a stamp and send away for it. Uh, I'm giving you, and the, it's good, man. I love it. It's awesome. It seemed good. You sounded the same. Yeah. Is that good or bad? Well, you didn't get any better uh, playing wise, but. Oh. Um, but you know, well, it's a living. I just do what I do, man. No, it's good. You sound good. You're a, you're a very, very good songwriter. You have that going for you. My voice has been a little rough lately. I understand. But where, where you are weak, I am strong. Oh Lord. Did you notice when you were talking about the electronic shit that I gave you the Mark mirror and yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm really happy to, and Raj is buying something. Oh yeah, I wanted to, to oh my god. I I'm excited. This is this might be the ticket for you, man. What do you mean to have my own little uh I'm getting uh, I'm, I will be taking delivery of my own Zoom L8 live track this coming week. Yes. And it's the same machine I have. So, oh god, help me. I hope it's easier than the, trying to learn Cubase. Oh, it's pretty easy, man. It's a multi-track machine. All I want is just that to record audio, piano tracks, and whatever. Well, now you can you have Mix Minus on there too, so you can podcast like that via uh, telephone or whatever. Now, do you does that mean you and I could podcast back and forth from our houses? I don't know how that. Sure, works. man, we've, we can figure it out. We've tried that without me having a Zoom L8. I just call into you. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, but if you want to, you you could also use the Zoom as an audio interface if you want to go that deep. So you mean then I could be sitting at my house and then we could be sounding just like we are now? Uh, and so does it sound like a call-in? Yeah, well, if you use, okay, if you, uh, well, 
if you uh, use Zoom, uh, the Zoom, the uh, messaging service, the hell? not Zoom oh, the Zoom. machine, if I like we Zoom. did with uh, Sid. Yeah, with Sid. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interview. Just, uh, yeah, you we, you don't even have to. Yeah, we can work that out at a later date. No, but it's so much easy, fun, more fun to come annoy you in here. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> but then I think our, we can our, our we can ramp up the episodes a little bit. Well, okay, well, we can do that anyway. The, okay, that's kind Plus of you fun. live so far out of the city, man. Yes, they say, the Myrtle old school Myrtle Beach snobs say, if you cross the waterway, you don't live in Myrtle Beach. You don't, technically. No. The instead, old Myrtle Ca- Beach. Carolina Forest is, um, instead of, uh, I think I've said this before, instead of, hey, y'all, it's, I don't. Yeah. And the development continues, and people are complaining about it. Oh There's yeah, yeah. The people flooding. that move, the people that move down here, are complaining about it. Other people moving down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's a birth of a city. The birth of a city. Hey man, I went up to Betsy, and I went up to Georgetown yesterday. Is that up? Down, or? down south. Down south in the down. low country, kind yeah. of halfway between here and Charleston. Yes, I call. I told you just recently that it's uh, kind of like Charleston light. Yeah, I like it. There's, it's a it's nice fun. little town. Yeah, little, relaxed. Little kind of there's a harbor walk down there. Remind, yeah, there, I love that little harbor walk kind of action. Yeah, it's 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 neat, man. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I passed by a cool guitar shop. I didn't want to stick my head in. That's good old Front Street Guitar. It looked expensive. It is. He caters to pro, uh, the pro player down oh, there. Well, I'm out. And uh, there's some cool. What do you call that? Like, there's is um Gibson or there's like there's something called Gibson Workshop Edition. Well, I forgot. I don't know. There's some kind of high end guitars. He's got everything down there. How much is? What's the average price of his of his crap down there? I don't know. And how dare you call it crap? I'm looking at your guitars. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see. Well, which, all my I call everything crap, man. Which ones of yours would be worthy of that shop? Let's see. I guess uh, nothing in that the, that tally over yeah, there. Yeah, the tally. The baritone guitar, maybe? No, no, no. No. My Martin. My Martin. Oh, my uh, favorite Martin. <laughs> you're funny, man. You're funny, man. Oh. I, don't know, I, not, I have nothing high end like that. You man. got some nice guitars. Don't tell I saw, yourself. Short. I saw a beautiful, a nice cream color strat in the window, man. Oh. You didn't want to go in there? They're not, they'll be, they would have been nice to you. Yeah, but I don't like going in places if I'm not really going to buy anything. Oh, I'm sure that happens every every day down there. Yeah, but I don't want to. No, when people go in, it's whoops. <laughs> they have a little production studio in the back too. They might. It's more than just high end guitars. I know they have pro pro audio and all that other stuff. Anyway, no, that's but, uh, cool. And he's going to. He was going to put. And forgive me, brother. Your name escapes me right now. Hey, well, for he's not listening. He is. Everyone listens to this. <laughs> um, he's going to put in the little patio outside. There's a little alleyway. You're going to like have jams and stuff and. Oh, that's cool. Kind of, kind of uh, songwriters in the round and shit like that. Oh, that's cool. So uh, we also went to a made Betsy. It was her birthday weekend, so yes. we went by. There was a cat cafe there. I know. I saw that. I said past there, and there were cats sitting in the window drinking coffee. I forgot the name of it, but I'll, I'll find it, and maybe you could put it in the notes. Yeah, sure. Her and poor something like that yeah something like that it had to be some kind of play on words like that poor and purr i don't know but it, it it's a cat <laughs> adoption place yeah with a and you pay like 10 bucks oh it's a charity for the cats whoa their rescue and they're but you get a beverage if you want wine beer coffee whatever for that you should get like a sandwich yeah, a sandwich Sandwich. And uh, they have a little gift shop, but the cats are so cute, man. And uh, there were some nice uh, original art pieces in there. We oh. bought. Uh, I bought one for Betsy. Oh, it's as, now well, hanging you up. What's it? Where is it? I gotta go look. Downstairs at it. under the Chihuahua painting. Is there a cat on it? There are a couple cats on it. <laughs> it's under the Chihuahua painting, so that means you put the Chihuahuas in a place of prominence. Yeah, and the cats. No, it. no, no, no. I don't know. Your cats are not going to like that shit. Yeah, well, the, it looks like a cat painted this thing. Oh, that's cool. It should have been like to dip their paws in. <laughs> and I showed it to Katie on FaceTime. She goes, man, it looks like something I painted in third grade. Yeah, okay, a cat painted It's it, folk sure. art, man. It's cool. I like it. Betsy when, likes it. When it's folk art, does it mean it's, what does that mean? Kind of. Kind of. It could be anything you want it to be. 
like that, that stuff I see outside House of Blues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Howard Finster. That weird St. Cecilia Was painting. it Howard Finster or Harold Finster? Uh, the guy that painted the Reckoning album and all that. He's a folk art How- guy. Howard Bannister? No, man, you're, you don't go. You're going off. Fenster, that's like... Finster. Win- okay, well, Fenster is German for window, I think. Really? Yeah. Isn't that nice? So he's... Finster was looking out the Finster. Fenster. He was looking out the Fenster. I'm going to look it up. Trying to get inspiration, looking out the Fenster. Oh, and then he saw Howard Bannister across the way. Who the hell is Howard Bannister? Howard, I think that's the name of the guy <laughs> Ryan O'Neill played in What's Up, Doc. Howard Finster was an American artist and Baptist minister from Georgia. He claimed to be inspired by God to stre- spread the gospel through the design of his swampy land into a paradise garden. Oh. A folk art sculpture garden with over 46,000 pieces of art. Whoa. His creations include outsider art, naive art, and visionary art. Finster came to widespread notice in the 80s with his album cover designs for R.E.M. and Talking Heads. Wow, you should, be, you should probably call him Finister. Why? Because he's a finster and he's a minister. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Howard Bannister, finister. That's a lot of output for a guy who has to also work on a sermon. He pro- No, that, I don't know. I wonder if he married people for money. Probably wouldn't you. You do. Yeah, well, sometimes I do it for free. You're, you're a... You're a... You're a uh, finister. You're an out call... You're an outcall minister. Maybe that's what ministers are called in Finland. Oh my God, dude, this is going out of <laughs> hand here. Unbelievable. Uh, I want to go back to the uh, Grand Strand for a second. Our Lulu's gigs have been good lately. Everything's yeah. still good, crowded, meeting lots of people. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the 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 one thing I want to talk to you, about, <laughs> the one thing I'd really yeah. like to talk to you about, for forty years, I've been wanting to read a book called. How to read a book. How to read a book. I know that book. Mortimer Adler and Charles Van Doren. Yeah, how to read a book. Adler was on the board of... um, The Great Books. Yeah, well, Encyclopedia Britannica, and he was behind The Great Books of Western Civilization, which I want to get get out of story. Great Books of the Western World? Great Books of the Western World. Um, You're not going to read them. Don't worry about well, it. Well, I am. I'm trying. I want to read them. <laughs> I have but them too. He, he's he's the guy who put together the Syntopicon, the two uh, massive two volume compendium of everything. I guess that's the right word. I don't know. Yep. But it's four. The book's four hundred pages long. I finally got it. Oh Lord. And uh, on Kindle, I think I'm going to exhaust my note taking and underlining capability per book you read. You only have a certain amount Shh. that you can use. But it's crazy. It goes, it, you cover like elementary reading, inspectional reading, anical, anal, oh. <laughs> analytical reading, and then syntopical reading. Oh, it's too much. And then becoming a demanding reader. It's too much. It's, it's interesting, but he says that's the ideal. But the whole thing is, um, you know, you, inspectional reading is just flipping through, looking at the table of contents, looking at the random pages, looking at the index trying to get a feel for what the book is if you intend to read it again. Sometimes you don't. I, I have a problem. If I pick up a book, I want to finish it. You don't have to do that. I know. If you a, don't like it, th- toss it, man. I don't know. I feel funny about it, but this is... What if uh, it sucks? I know. I know how to how to read a book. Yeah. Open the cover. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Read it. Be careful not to ruin it, the, the cover. Open it nicely. Read it. Check it out. See if it's... Is is it anything? You ask yourself, is this anything? It's Seinfeld. Is this anything? If it's not anything, give it away, man. Well, sh- or burn it. Whatever. Well, you burn, burn book. it. Oh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's becoming uh, in in vogue again, isn't it? Burning book. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's Banning happening here? books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. Come on, man. It's un-freaking believable. Whoa. But anal- the, anical re- an- anical. the analytical reading part is classifying you know, what kind of book it is, and to be able to give a brief synopsis, you uh-huh. know, define, well, so, define the problem, the author's problems he's setting forth, that kind of thing. Yeah, so so is it is it uh, sacred books for men, picture books for women? Yes, it is. 
And then come, come, he's been the. Uh, uh, oh, that was that was so the, from oh, Yentl. Cool. Yeah, I love that. It's sexist uh, as hell. Messed up, dude. Uh, and then coming to terms. Sorry, ladies. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, miss. What? And then it's important <laughs> to come to terms with the author by identifying his key words or her key words. Because sometimes words are used differently. You have to get a feel for how he's using phrases or she using phrases or what have you. Or they are using phrases. Huh? And then you have to grasp the leading proposals and arguments. Is this still the book, man? Yeah. I I'm fell just, asleep. Uh, yeah. And then do not begin your criticism until you have com- uh, completed it kind of an outline okay how was the book it was like this it was pretty good you or can, you can, it sucks yeah you could but but you can't say that unless you to, if you unless you at least you understand the book some people don't understand the book and they they don't like it but they don't understand it what if you what if it's just so not interesting and not worth trying to understand it then that then don't you they, you just give it the scan and throw it away apparently and say it sucks I got to still finish books. Why, uh, man? Don't finish them. But then you can then, only when you understand the thing, you you either agree, disagree, or suspend judgment. Dude, no wonder this book is so long. Because there might be arguments in other books, which then become syntopical reading. Oh, God. I, I enjoy it. I've been wanting to read that since I was like 17. Oof. 17, 27, 37, 47. Yeah, about 40 years ago. Well, have fun, man. That's cr- incredible. Well, it beats scrolling down on Facebook or something. No attention span. Yeah, that's that's a it's it, it, that scrolling and social media has destroyed everybody's attention span, man. You no, know, you're, you're but I mean, Facebook's. You're talking now. You're talking reels and Instagram and all that. I all have, that stuff. It's endless. Just oh, oh man. You're, you're or if you get a long article, it's like well, I'll just I'll just read this later. Well, dude, that's the scanning part. Yeah. But then you go back to it if you like it. It's the same thing as reading a book. But your boy Lefts, it uh, seems to really sing the praises of Insta- Instagram. I mean TikTok. Yeah. And uh, so I got myself a TikTok. I'm trying. I put a little couple of things every now and then. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I still like Facebook because I'm old. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, man, that's what's been going on here. Yeah, are you planning on other trips, going on any vacations? <laughs> not until vacations, not until after the season, man. No, yeah, I want to go. Me and Br- Brenda want to go somewhere too. We all, we all want to. We all could use a few few days off now, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure, man. Holy cow! And then, um, so um, because of this Zoom L eight live track, can you be my mentor with it, or do I have to learn by myself? Oh, uh, you have to learn like I did. By yourself. <laughs> you, have, you have to learn just like me, and that's the hardest way. Ooh la la. I'll help you out, man. There's nothing. Uh, it, it, it's easy. I'm I'll help gonna, you. I'm just got to come over with it and ask for step-by-step guidance. Step I'm going to figure it out. I'll help you. No, but if I have some really complex thing, and I'd like you to drop it into Logic Pro because I don't understand Cubase, maybe you can do help me with that. Yeah, man. No problem. My studio, you know my rates. God, I'm afraid of those rates. <laughs> as long as I don't have to take it out in some sort of trade. Oh, get lost, man. That's oh. something wrong with you, man. Not tonight, Narcissus. I have a headache. Oh, oh my God. Elton's coming up in September. I thought he excited. was done. Well, he is. He's done, but I get to say goodbye to him, as I've said before, thanks to your son-in-law. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, That's pretty cool, man. Nice, man. Yeah. So, basically, I've... I've given you the highlights of Mortimer Adler's book. You got to um, believe a guy named Mortimer. Oh, man, listen, I th- uh, you you all can wake up now. <laughs> okay, he's done with that. I'm done. I'm done with it, man. What else about Georgetown? There's some cool other places. I don't know. We just kind of wandered around for a little while, came back. When you go down to Georgetown, are you kind of amazed how far away Brookering Gardens is from here? It is kind of far. Brooklyn. Never been in there. And you're not even in Georgetown yet, but you, you've never been inside Brookering Gardens? No. The whole time you've lived here? I said I have never been in there. That's like the biggest collection of figurative uh American sculpture. Well, I guess I better get a book that says how to view a sculpture. How to look. That's another problem I got. I'm you looking. know what that's called? Aesthetics. Is it? Because when I I don't yeah. know what I'm supposed how I'm supposed to be when I'm. Looking. You just look at it and oh, go, cool. This cool. is weird. I like it. That's it cool. makes no sense. 
What is this? What's that? What a useless blob of nothing. <laughs> and then the next one is, oh, this is pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if it's figurative oh, this because there's a lot of animals and stuff. That would that be figurative sculpture? What is this? A llama? What? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Hello, Dolly, llama. It's got the head of a an ox and the <laughs> scorpion tail. So it looks oh. like it looks looks like John Entwistle. Why don't you with, with one of the guys from the Scorpions' ass? Hey man, <laughs> have you considered medication, Michael, man? Michael Schenker. <laughs> have you, that his name? Yeah. Have you have you considered <laughs> medication, wait, wait, dude? Wait, wait. John Entwistle's face and Michael Schenker's ass is what you're talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, that's 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 ridiculous, that, that man. Made, that made me laugh, dude. Yeah, oh. you're stupid, man. <laughs> oh, Lee. Oh, man. Did you see Jimmy's uh, BMW? Electric BMW? I saw a picture of it. Oh. Is it Jimmy's birthday today? No. It, our friend Jim Alden and my brother-in-law, Craig Cass, turned 60 today. Oh, We're my. recording this on the 21st. Uh, when you hear this, it'll be passed. But I happy birthday, see- guys. We love you. Well, I rely on Facebook, and I had the... Uh, um, sneaking suspicion it was alden's birthday i said happy birthday to craig our friend scott mann has a birthday today yeah uh lots of you know lots of lots of august babies christopher garcia it's funny this it's funny day, what was what was going on uh, the november before well, because this it's cold yeah yeah but wait a minute uh i had a sneaking suspicion it was alden's birthday but yeah i, I I didn't see it on Facebook. You don't already know that, dude? I did know that. Didn't I just ask if it was Jimmy's birthday? Yeah, so. I better, hi, happy birthday, Jim. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Well. Well, happy birthday uh, to everyone who's ever, who, if it's you, whatever. Happy birthday to everyone. When you hear this, it might be your birthday. Happy birthday to everyone. Uh, to whoever got born. Happy born day. <laughs> <laughs> Happy porn day. Oh, no, no. Oh, is that what you said? No, no, no. Come on, where's your mind, man? Not Al Goldstein, dude. We always talk about good old Al Goldstein. (laughs) Uh, Good old Al Goldstein from Screw Magazine. Oh, my God. We always talk about Al Goldstein. No, but he's, his name has come up a couple times in the course of the, these episodes. Yeah, because I, I did mention that I, I saw him at, the, at a trade show with, with this chomping on a cigar walking around. Oh, man. Was he a scumbag? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know probably. <laughs> I mean, a pornographer. I don't. I don't know, man. Oh yeah, that's funny though. One of those people who ruined us. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, I must say, I've had a, a delightful time with you today. Oh this, this yeah, is, me too, man. This was really exciting. We got to talk about books and gear uh-uh. and stuff we got, like we that. We talked about one book for a half an hour. Georgetown. Oh, that's... Was there a bookshop down there? I'm sure there's a bookshop down there. I only got a yeah, cursory... Of, oh, yeah, there is a bookshop down there, and I forgot what... Not it, on Front Street. Harbor... Harbor Light... So, uh, not Harbor. Harbor. Was it on Front Street? I think so. Oh, man, I do... I, we just had a little run through, and then we just came back by 4 o'clock. We were only there for a couple hours. Well, that's a cool thing. It's only an hour away. It is cool. It's like getting away from it all and not really spending a lot of time to get there it's a it's a steeped in history I, I know it is it's the third oldest city in in south carolina oh man that's a trip yeah yeah well, yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so there we are there we are i've had a pleasure seeing you probably because i don't have to look at you i have to look straight ahead here this way well you you i mean you can actually turn your back i can set the mic up i have a, a a mic you can a mic stand you could put on that desk. I know better than to turn my back on. And I could slap you upside the head, man. Yeah, upside, upside, and went down the other. All right, so this was episode sixty-seven. Thank yeah. you very much for listening. Reading is fundamental. Riff, riff. <laughs> yeah, riff, raff, riff, riff. All right, well, I've had I had fun. Everyone, take care. Love well, y'all. Love you all. At Yale Brothers at Gmail dot com. Yes. All right. So everybody, you know what to do. Rock and roll.